What is your favorite type of food? Is it Italian? Maybe you like Spanish cuisine. Regardless of what it is, someone has to cook and prepare that food when you order it at your favorite restaurant. These people are called chefs. They cook raw foods and materials into the spectacular plates of food that are served to us every day. In this video, we take a deeper look into the world of culinary chefs and explore this career path. As a culinary educator and a chef, my primary responsibilities is not only to build up uh, skill level in my cooks, but also to run uh, the, the kitchen and essentially the restaurant, manage inventory, um, menu preparation, uh, menu development. I have six executive chefs that work under me. Each one of those chefs runs their own restaurant, basically. So they all report up to me. So my daily routine is working with them consistently, making sure their menu applications are exactly what they put through and they're staying in tune with the menu. And I taste as much food as I can every day and make sure that our cooks are as much in tune with tasting their food to make sure it hits the mark. First and foremost, you're a cook. You have to have sound cooking principles down, making sure that your food doesn't uh, spoil, um, that you have uh, the right amount of food for a busy weekend coming up. Uh, so you have to be able to manage quantities and proportions uh, and things like that. You're not just a chef cooking the food. You have to manage the business. So math is very, very important. It's not just culinary math, but it's analytical skills. And you need to have those analytical skills. Cooking isn't necessarily an art, it's more of a craft, but you really have to have a good hold on composition, um, textures, colors, those types of things. You need to know how to add and subtract to be able to scale recipes, to be able to read your financial reports if you're going to be self-employed, just to look at your paycheck and see if the taxes are taken out properly. It's so important. You definitely want to keep art in the forefront of your mind because being a chef, it's all about the art. It's all about taking these sciences and the math and all of these things that are going to develop your dish and to run your organization or your, your restaurant. Uh, you need to be really on top of it. Your understanding of how everything works is what really makes you a great chef. Somebody comes to my restaurant because they want to get a little taste of Italy. And uh, we try to provide that for them. We have uh, Italian artwork and we play Italian music and we serve Italian food and we try to have uh, nice china and, and make it a fine dining experience for them so that they can have that little bit of escape to another culture. When you eat, you eat with your eyes first. To see the colors, the array of colors, the way uh, the plate is actually looking symmetrically or asymmetrically. Uh, there's a lot of tricks of the trade to know about how to make your plate and your food look very appetizing. When you're looking at food from an artistic mindset, it, the world opens up very wide. It's very wide, it's very big. To know and to have a under working understanding of arts in the food industry uh, is a blessing because every dish is a work of art. When most people walk into an establishment and if it is not clean and crisp and you are not engaged by a guest or as a guest by the people running that place, it's not gonna work. So you have to have an understanding of the culture of fine arts in order to be successful in this business. Every day you are weighing the cost of, of everything you're doing. You want to know the cost analysis of how long it's going to take for one of your cooks to be on the clock how much you're gonna pay him. You need to know everything broken down in a very business mindset. Also, every time there is a mistake, you're losing money. Every minute that the restaurant is open, the doors are open, it's costing you money. You need to know how much you're gonna to have to make at the end of each day 
in order to keep afloat. So financial literacy is extremely important. When you're managing what we call a cost center, um, the, the cost of goods, what we call the cost of goods is you're responsible as the chef. Uh, what we call variables or controllables, uh, that's labor cost and food cost. Those are what bring in your profitability. So if you're not in tune uh, with those metrics and, and the analytics to get there, you're going to be behind because you're not managing the business. If you work in a kitchen, there's always reference to Italian dishes, Zabioni being one of them, which I just love, risotto, all your basic French sauces, Béarnaise, Hollandaise, Chaucer sauces, Espanol and Spanish. I mean, I could go on and on, but you need to have the basic. There's a lot of French classical terminology uh, that is defined uh, as far as applications and what we call method and technique. And if you don't have a good hold an understanding of the French language, you're not going to start with a fundamental basis. Because our trade essentially was developed in France. So a lot of the terms that you're going to, are, that you will, you will be using are French terms. Um, specific to the United States, uh, particularly in the South, uh, most kitchens are very heavily Latino and if you don't know Spanish, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> to be able to speak multiple languages as a chef, will only benefit you and, uh, and help you progress and make not only friends in this industry, but also uh, develop your menu and your dishes. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a very gratifying thing when you can see guests leaving with a smile or they're laughing. Um, and as well as your employees. You know, at the end of the day, everybody's happy. I mean, everybody's exhausted, but everybody's happy. And there really is no better feeling than to, in any walk of life, to bring joy to someone else. And if you can do that at work, that's a pretty, pretty neat thing, I think. You really start to love the high stress, the fast pace, the artistic portions of it. You love learning about new things, new cultures, new languages. There's just, the food industry is so wide that you just, there's, you can't learn it all. It's impossible to learn it all. And so that, that mystery of that always keeps me coming back.